The best way to care for kids with vomiting and diarrhea is to first realize that when kids vomit, they need to have some what we call tummy rest. So the worst thing to do when a kid throws up is to let them drink something immediately, even though they're gonna be thirsty. If it's an older child, then I would let them rinse their mouth out, but don't have them swallow. If it's a younger child, just don't give them anything, and you wanna wait at least 20 minutes before you let them try anything. When you first try something, they're gonna be really thirsty, but you have to go very slow with them. And you wanna give them, if it's a younger child, some Pedialyte, if it's an older child, some Gatorade, and very, very slow, like a teaspoon every three to five minutes. You wanna go very slow for a little while and gradually increase it as they tolerate it. If they throw up, which they often do with the stomach flu again, you have to restop, wait another 20 minutes, and then restart again. When you're worried about vomiting and diarrhea, one of the main things to look for is if the child's having any blood in the vomit or diarrhea, you need to contact their physician immediately. Otherwise, a lot of these are viral and it really just has to run its course. The biggest things we worry about are dehydration. And how you can tell dehydration in a child, if it's a little baby, they should be peeing at least every three to four, three to four times a day, and you should be able to see it in the diaper. An older child, you wanna make sure that they tell you when they go to the bathroom so you can ask them if they had a pee at that time. You don't want to feed a child who has vomiting and diarrhea right away. You want to give them some time, let their stomach settle. Once they're holding down the liquids for a while, then you can slowly introduce a very bland, boring diet. So that means rice, crackers, anything starchy that can help kind of harden up the stools. If the vomiting and diarrhea goes on more than four to five days, if you think your child's becoming dehydrated, that's when you need to contact your physician.